Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible on impossible settings. It is time for Operation Lazy Skull. 215 supplies and a bit of intel if we actually get the dark VIP should motivate us to take on this mission. I'm modestly motivated uh, to be precise. I would rather skip that one because we can lose a lot by going in. Uh, but I'm actually bringing the A-team or uh, to be more precise, the ones of the A-team that are available. Lyrical and Rank Planet uh, are making a reappearance. We got nice little weapons uh, here. Hogbite is going to be there. Uh, Nemri, uh, freshly bonded with Hogbite, is there as well. And we substituted Insane and Oxus from the B team just to get it going. I got uh, the Mimic Beacon as well. And we got a lot of our uh, unique weapons with us. So if this mission goes sideways, the run is pretty much screwed. On the other end, we do have a realistic chance uh, of uh, being successful, so well, let's try it. Very good. We are rushing down. Starting with a little bit of focus, but unfortunately not with any concealment, apparently. Or do we? Yep, we do. Well, at least we have concealment. Cool. Good, pretty long distance actually, open field. Um, this might be high ground here. No, it's actually not. Yeah, straight up low ground. Lyrical moves up. And uh, we can already see the towers. Location confirmed. Moving up with the rest of the team. Hogbite uh, takes the lead. Wrong planet, unfortunately. I mean, we do have high ground here, but let's be real. We don't want to go backwards. We need to push towards the target and then out of here. So it will be one of those scenarios where our sniper is actually going to be in the front. Already there. Grenades are coming in and Sane is moving as far as possible with still taking uh, still taking some uh, cover. We are on a bridge apparently. And we're fighting against chrysalids. That's a given. Already discovered that. Hogbite moves up. Still no one. What the actual hell? You have my trust. I see one of their patrols. Oh yeah, sure. Okay. So yeah, this is going to be one of uh, those, um, we're running into four packs at the same time missions. Great. Love it. Sometimes this game has a crude sense of humor. us into full cover. Solid copy. We're seeing everyone so this is not going to reveal us. Aggressive field, I agree, but still okay. Uh, 
Um, Sane moves over to here. Stepping off. And Wrong Planet moves over to here. Okay, with that, he braces and we're good. If you guys could just huddle together, that would be perfect because I could use Frost Grenade like the last time. This year would actually be, if you just can't stand like that for, for a moment. No, well, too bad. Because I can tell you, we won't, we won't be waiting for you. We will need to engage. That's a five times bomb. So, yeah, I, I still will do it. Good. This hopefully is going to be one of those turns where we can become very action efficient. Rapid deployment. And this also shows us that Advent is indeed immune to frost grenades, but many of the other enemies are not. So that's good. And we have successfully triggered quite a few enemies, actually. One, two, three, four. Just removing the overwatch, shredding everyone. How did he come? Okay, well, he just ran up, I suppose. Good, listen, we need to take the wins where we can get them. And AoE grenade damage, unfortunately, is highly efficient, so I'm not going to stop using that. Mind you, three attacks in one round. Reaper. Five to six points of damage, that's not a hundred percent kill. Nine, twelve, no. Okay, that's too good of a hit to not use it. Moving in. Setting up the sergeant. Okay, that's good enough. That's a double kill. Single. Okay, Codex didn't want to die immediately, but that's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. Shieldbearer next. No 
five to six this mutant there is almost almost down up here hits this guy with an X let me ask you a question and once we're at it how about good old shotgun to the face oh yeah that worked well reaching maneuver into a better position Move over. Getting that officer down. Can we hit the mag? Yeah, we could actually. Three to four. Hmm. Let's move already. Moving up. be a hundred percent kill I would love to dive a bit deeper yeah unfortunately that didn't work out so well I just want to injure it, get it down really, really low. What's over there? Nox will just throw the mimic beacon to help us. We can only hit uh, mm, these guys. That's not a hundred percent kill guarantee. Matter of fact, none of that is a real guaranteed kill. Won't get much better than that. So let's breaching maneuver into full cover. Uh, 
and Hogbite does the same full cover it is we're putting a mimic beacon out and I think for one turn that was actually quite amazing Overall, just the amount of uh, crowd control, killing two mutants, a heavy mech, a shield bearer, two guardians, codex, and a uh, and a captain. Just one go. That's damn good. With conventional weapons, that is. trigger an overwatch shot? Nope. Good enough. Very nice. The trooper is almost down. didn't work yeah we're just continuing to pepper him okay that worked much better Let's try to see if we can get that skirmisher down. Oh yeah! Good crit. Yeah, just overall very solid shot. Okay, before we're going into that. I think hitting the skirmisher is the right call here. Uh, did not kill him. Almost got him. Guardian is in the open. Elite Trooper is in the open. maneuver back could reach him in one go which is actually what I would want so we're going to do a little trick with teamwork and you can see what I'm doing here is really just maximizing the action economy we want to make sure that these guys are regretting their life choices They are still chrysalids, so I'm careful. He now either needs to move. Oh no, he has a stupid grappling hook. Oh, I forgot about that. Planet moves up. There's a nice little snapshot here. Snapshot to Reno. No 
not sure why exactly we're picking it up over here when the guy died over there, but okay. I guess XCOM logic. And this is why you should not stand in the open without even um, checking for cover. We're reloading. Moving up. And it's Overwatch. 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 Yeah, I'll go. Even if that means standing in the open, I'm okay with it. Very decisive fight. I am quite happy about our performance. We've seen some pack over there. Don't care too much about it for now. But yeah, we're going to charge in. It's really just double movement overwatch. As soon as we capture this guy, a reinforcement will spawn. We don't want that to happen right now. So what we're going to do is I want to trigger whatever pack is left over. The answer seems to be none at the moment. Interesting. Here. Got it. Wrong planet will carry. Got it. Moving. Allez, on se remue. Affirmative. Covering now. And we're just going to wait. Uh, we're in a decent position. Apparently there's still some enemies over there. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. I got you. Good. We're not going to trigger them because there is no point in doing that. We will all leave next turn. Just like that. Yeah, we can easily reach it. Okay, cool. There are the promised reinforcements. I don't need to deal with them. We're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Seems doable. Already there. Go breed. Got it. Good, we're not making the same mistake as the last time where there is a chance that the mission is failing. No, no, no. We're first getting the VIP out and then everybody else goes out. Uh, this is the overflow. Um, this is the overflow um, action uh, point, uh, which is the mod that I have installed to incentivize using kernels further. And I think it actually works very well with what we're trying to do here 
because it will continue to generate AP for us that we then can use for our prime team to get super soldiers. And you know that I'm a big sucker for super soldiers. So for a long time, this actually felt like something that was doable. We fought three packs, granted, not the strongest enemies and potentially could have done better. But I think overall, that was actually a really uh, solid mission. It was actually a very, very solid mission. Flawless, um, which is rare. And we got ourselves a lot of rewards. Proving to ba uh, bond rank number three. That's good. They are tired anyways. And training counts against tiredness, which is cool. We could get a new soldier. We have enough soldiers, so we don't need that. Uh, we got enough intel as well, so uh, instant contact. I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't looking for her. In the area. <clears throat> Yay! Finally. Good. Building a tower here. Tower relay now operational. And we got ourselves enough stuff to continue with excavations. This coil could provide us with some additional power for the Avenger systems. I tell you what, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, Shadow Chamber is the next one, and Shadow Chamber could easily go here. Uh, very energy hungry, so might as well do that. Could get another upgrade, not bad as an idea, but it would cost us a permanent. Uh, it would cost us permanently. I think it's worth it overall. Polar Planner will be helpful for just one more resistance order. I'll keep around 200. Uh, just to be on the safe side. Experimental ammunition, good. Uh, we're out of course, unfortunately. Commander, we've located one of their facilities. Good. Very soon, our covert action will help us. But if that does not work out beforehand, we actually need to go for another facility. Mm. Let's hope that that is not the case. Cool, we got another a mad shooter casita uh, has joined us another assault infantry and the cool part about it is i think sergeant is a good rank for what we're trying to do we're aiming for that sort of uh, just playable uh, status Let's go and uh, try to use that middle section, shall we? Um, I want to see if a build around Bastion actually works well. So that's a lot of more mobility. Uh, plus, if we just play with a knife, we're already down to three. Has five downs cooldown. 
This reduces it by one, so that's four. With a knife, it's three. So I want to see if that works out well. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do. I await your orders. Um, we need breakthroughs. This is completely going into the wrong direction. I should have maybe built a laboratory just to get more breakthroughs. Could could build laboratory uh, prior to defense matrix. Could, yeah. We are relying on breakthroughs, so I was expecting way more breakthroughs to happen. We're still tracking the Elder's assassin. She's moving through this region. Good. All PCSs are improved. That's good, which means a lot of our uh, PCSs are going to be phenomenal. Let's go black market. We do have intel to spare. And we do have yet another facility available. Very soon we're going to need to do it. Superior speed, good. Superior agility, also very good. Um, Okay, so twenty nine dodge as base. Oh, yeah, well, that's good. I mean, his extra movement certainly helped him. Ah, that's almost better. Three movement and twenty one dodge. Yeah, that's definitely better. That is definitely better. Um, yeah, I think the combination for them is really helpful. So that's good. Uh, marksman. Could go with that superior speed actually just getting into a better position in terms of superior dodge uh, that would be for our field medic who's coming back soon superior conditioning yeah that is good as well marksman speed um, Dodge. Yeah, and we need to double check what uh, Zuhuger does have. Uh, so maybe we're giving him dodge as well. Dodge is quite helpful, specifically against uh, the higher damage uh, attacks. Trying to get dodge on everyone, at least a certain amount, will be very helpful. No intel at the moment, so nothing that we can really do. Next up, we want to go and take that side. I think realistically speaking, well, soldier could be good as a reward. I think we have enough. So going for more intel just to get PCSs and buy from the black market regularly well and that doesn't matter anymore because now we're forced into the next mission doom clock yet again has beaten us to the punch it is time for a uh, for another facility invasion and let's see how successful we're going to uh, do that 
having those higher uh, tactics by the way would definitely help so we're going to go uh, to do that and in just a few hours five to be precise uh, we do have Sydney and uh, uh, Cougar back so I will just let that um, go down so that we're definitely already here and since we can't scan anything here I'll just let the time slowly but surely tick down so that our uh, sabotage is done once sabotage is done it's just five hours that we're missing I'm okay with that uh, but going into the prime mission with our number one team would be helpful we can't we could fly back and forth but that would take more than five hours and I really want to make sure that we're uh, ready and can uh, deliver thanks for watching guys if you enjoy uh, what you've seen and you uh, see the countdown ticking uh, down uh, try to defuse uh, the bomb that sits under the like button and uh, see you in two days bye bye